Welcome to iCast Bytes video blog. Today I'll be answering the question, what is the difference between Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator and Fireworks? If you wish to read along with this video, go to iCastBytes.weebly.com for a text version. The link will be in the description. Let's start. If you've ever ventured down the perplexing world of Adobe graphics software, then you're probably confused by the difference between Photoshop Fireworks and Illustrator. After all, at a first glance, they seem more or less the same. Yet, there are some fundamental differences. Photoshop is without doubt the most popular commercial Adobe software. It is well renowned for incredible photo editing capabilities. Photoshop, being a raster graphics, also called bitmap graphics application, like GIMP and Paint, it interacts directly with the pixels that compose the images. This makes it a great program for modifying already existing images since it can do virtually anything. But it's not useful for the creation of graphics such as logos and drawings. Illustrator may look similar to Photoshop at a first glance, but it's very different. Illustrator is a vector graphics program. This means that the image is not composed of pixels, like in Photoshop, but rather of mathematical constructs. For example, in a raster graphics program, like Photoshop or Paint, when you draw a line, it is simply a series of colored pixels. In a vector program, a line is composed of two dots, which are connected together by computer algorithm. You can modify and move these dots as you wish, thus changing the image. Vector graphics are very well suited for the creation of digital imagery such as logos and drawings. They also provide a better print output since they are not resolution dependent. If you wanted to stretch a raster image in order to print it to a very large poster, it would eventually blur or pixelate. This will not happen with vectors. The downside of vectors is that they cannot be used to modify graphic image, or at least not easily and thus they do not provide advanced photo editing or modifying capabilities. Fireworks is somewhat more confusing than the preceding programs. It's in some kind of gray spot between Photoshop and Illustrator. By gray spot, I mean that it has both raster and vector options, but does not excel in neither of them. At this point, you might be wondering, why would Adobe Systems take the time to create a third graphics software which has no clear advantage over Illustrator and Photoshop. Well, in fact, Adobe did not create Fireworks. They acquired it back in 2005, I think, when Adobe bought Macromedia. And because of this, Fireworks integrate harmoniously with other former Macromedia projects, such as Flash and Dreamweaver. Fireworks is also much better for web graphic development. It supports better image compression and gives you the option to create animated GIFs. Finally, if you're not looking for hardcore graphic capabilities, you might want to consider Fireworks. It has fantastic web support and, well, a better price. Otherwise, those of you wishing to create really professional logos and print-oriented graphics will prefer Illustrator. And if you wish to make impressive photo editing, buy Photoshop. Just a small note before you go and buy a multi-hundred dollar program, you might want to consider the free and open source GIMP and Inkscape, both programs which can be downloaded for free on Windows, Linux and Macintosh.